What's up guys, this is the IT Ranger and today we'll be making our second tutorial of CCNA uh, of CCNA. So today in our last tutorial I went over um, how to do binary and doing binary with the binary chart and things of that nature. So if you missed out on that tutorial, make sure you go back and uh, catch up on it because it's very essential to uh, the future in CCNA and CSENT and any other networking. So today we're going to be talking about internet services, and as you go, and I, I bet you guys are probably like internet services. Well, I already know what internet services are, but you know what? I want to make sure. I want to make sure every person who watches my tutorials is up to date and is you know educated on every single thing uh, that they need to know to pass the CCNA exam, and that's what my that's my goal by my tutorials. So, um, I just want to make sure everyone knows and is clear on the different types of internet services and we, what, what each one is and when you will need those. So, we're going to be talking about DSL, dial-up, cable modem, and bandwidth, T1, and T3 connections. And so, let's move along. So, here we are. The diff what are the different types of internet services? So, I mean, you all got, you guys already probably know this, the dial-up access. You have DSL, you have cable modem, and you have satellite. And now you actually have fiber optics. So let's add that to it. And what fiber optic is, fiber optic is actually uh, it's, it's, it's ran with glass, cable, and the, the, the signal is sent from uh, signals of light. Versus being signal versus being sent with signals of electricity or electrical signals like Ethernet does, the fiber optic, which is glass, sends uh, their signals with light, and it's very fast, very fast speed. So that's really uh, the main difference with fiber optic. That's why most people prefer it now, such as Verizon FiOS and things like that. So let's move along here. Um, and here we so we have dial up for our first runner up. Dial up, we have dial up. And as we all know, dial-up is very slow, inexpensive. It's outdated. Uh, like maybe in the eight, the nineties was when dial-up was like really hot, and everybody was like, "Oh yeah, we got an internet connection. Yeah, dial-up. Yeah, dial-up. <laughs> yeah." You know. So, but you know, but but when the two thousand age hits, and let's say around two thousand four, maybe that's when DSL hit the scene, and dial-up was like really outdated, and everybody was like, "Oh, we hate dial-up." So, and so dial-up is really slow. It's inexpensive. Like right now, if you want a dollar, it would probably cost you maybe five bucks a month. <laughs> like literally, seriously, um, it's that it's that inexpensive nowadays because it's really slow and nobody really uses it. Um, it's used by mobile workers sometimes. Sometimes in other countries where there isn't a high speed connection that you can use, um, it's not available. Most uh, some companies in uh, foreign countries have dial up connections and will let you actually connect through dial up for mobile workers. So our dial up um, is not really implemented anymore. Um, it's still in rural areas, like areas that doesn't have any high-speed connections. Um, some older people might have it, um, you know, things. But nobody in today's age or who's hip to today's uh, technology really has dial-up. <laughs> and so we're going to talk about some of the disadvantages of dial-up. Um, as we all know, it's very slow. And you cannot use the telephone while connected. You can't use the telephone while connected. If you if you ever used dial-up before, um, depending on how old you are, when you're younger, maybe... Your parents were on the, or maybe you were on the internet, and your mother would go try to use the phone, and she'd be like, "Hey, get off the internet! I'm trying to use a phone call. I'm trying to make a phone call. Please get off the internet." You know things of that way. You know why? Because it was it was actually you could hear the handshaking going on between your computer, your home, and the the, uh, the dial-up provider, and that actually took up the whole phone bandwidth versus separating the connection like DSL does. And another disadvantage is the downloads are very slow. Um, I think DSL downloads like maybe 5.6 mega. Well, well, it's like 56 megabits per second or something like that. Um, yeah, yeah, 56 megabit per second. So if it's downloading 56 megabits per second, if you're downloading like a download or a game or anything like that or music or a song, it will probably take about 12 minutes for that to download, which is ridiculously slow in today's age, and nobody want to be bothered with that. It would be like hell of crazy. So, um, and another thing, sometimes it drops in the middle of connection. So sometimes it may disconnect when somebody picks up a phone, or or it may just de uh, drop without anything going wrong. So, here we go. We talked about dial up right there. 
um, it's really it, it really sucks so anybody have dial up come on time to move up DSL fiber optic uh, clear 4g services it's time to upgrade baby time to upgrade all right our next uh, topic is gonna be talking about DSL and DSL stands for a digital subscriber line and um, DSL is, is more expensive than dial up of course but it uses a way 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 faster connection and DSL has a lot of advantages over dial-up because DSL actually uses a special modem that um, it actually separates the the telephone signal from the actual internet signal. So that means you can actually use the phone and be connected to DSL all in one transaction. You can all do it at the same exact time. And that's really a big advantage when you talk about internet service because um, that would be a really, really, really disadvantage if you cannot use your phone because you're on the internet. That would suck. <laughs> Alright. So, um, so DSL uses a special high-speed modem that separates the phone signal from the telephone signal. And that's what's really special about DSL. And it's a lot faster. Um, versus 56 megapixels per second, um, I think it's like 114, which is a tremendous difference. Trust me, Trent. A download taking 12 minutes will be taking like 3 minutes maybe at max so um yeah so dsl is really uh advantage but now in today's age we have people who play xbox 360 xbox live you have guys like me who's streaming videos to youtube and all that stuff going on unfortunately dsl may not be able to keep up with all that so you would need a, another a higher speed or more bandwidth per se to actually keep up with all that and to actually you know have a good connection all right so, uh, whoa, whoa, too far. All right, so now what we talk about is we're gonna talk about Katem, a cable modem. Cable modem is kind of outdated too, not really. Some people, well, well, a lot of people actually still have it. People who buy cable modem routers all the time. Trust me, I work in a store and I work with uh, the apartment and my mom department people, you know, always calling the IT department asking, hey, I have cable modem at home. Can I actually, um, can I use a, I need to find a cable modem. Do they make those anymore? So trust me guys, people still have cable modems and it's really, no, I I, I probably couldn't do cable cable modem or DSL or dial up. You know, I don't I'll need fiber optic. I need that speed <laughs> and you guys probably need too. So cable modem is offered by cable providers such as uh, Comcast, um, Time Warner and all your big time cable providers. They all offer cable DSL. And the internet is basically carried over the same coaxial as the television, meaning that your internet connection is coming into your house by the same co uh, cable coaxial. So the same line that your television is coming through, the same that the internet is coming through. Which, which probably what you're thinking will be slow. And guess what? You're right. It will be different. It will be difficultly, or it will be actually extremely slow. And not not as slow as dollar, but it would be slower as far as like if you're trying to pull up a YouTube video and um, someone watch and you have three TVs in your house going it's gonna be really it's gonna be extremely slow But you're gonna be able to tell that you know somebody's doing something else which sucks So um, out of all these DSL really has the highest uh, D uh, bandwidth which which is great um, And fiber optic let's talk about fiber optic a little bit um, fiber optic is the newest type of uh, data transferring which it uses a glass cable, um, a cable that's coated and embedded inside of the, the cable at the core layer of the cable is glass. And this glass is sent as uh, signals of light across this, the, the cable, which transfers into bits. And as we all know lights, light is the fastest thing that moves. Speed of light is crazy. So then that's what really um, makes fiber optics so fast and so such an advantage to use versus cable modem or DSL, which all send electric signals to actually con um, convert bits or to send bits across a, a data or network. So next we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about bandwidth. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people, you know, you say, hey, you know what bandwidth is? And a lot of people are like, yeah, I know what bandwidth is. Bandwidth is, uh, is how much, uh, your how fast your internet goes. Okay, that, that that's sort of what's right, but it's not really the correct definition. And I want to make sure everyone who watches my tutorials understand all these terms and not just not understand how to configure stuff, but just understand all the terminology that's used and networking and all IT fields. So we're going to talk about what it is bandwidth. And bandwidth is basically, it's the amount of data that can be transferred at any period of time. 
or such as um, we have. I have. I'm downloading a song from you from um, iTunes. I'm downloading a song from iTunes, and um, I just say my data is going to be transferred. Um, it's it's basically the time that my song downloads from the iTunes server to my computer. That's your bandwidth. Your bandwidth um, can be as high as. Uh, it depends on which which type of connection you have, like DSL, cable modem, dial up. Dial up has the slowest bandwidth. DSL has the fastest, other than fiber optic, and cable modem has the second to the fastest. Fiber optic has the fastest bandwidth in today's standard. Um, also, now you notice that a lot of 4G and 3G phones and and internet broadband cards are coming out. Those are actually are really fast bandwidth too. Those are just those use a satellite. The bandwidth or the the uh, the four G and three G cards actually connect to a satellite, just like a cell phone does. But it transfers um, signals through wireless technology to your cell phone or to your computer through the broadband card, which actually sends you the internet pages and all your data, which is uh, transferred, you know, at the session layer. So um, now we want to talk about is the different type of connections when we talk about bandwidth. Um, we're talking about bandwidth. You have a T1 connection, and then you have a T3 connection. The T1, of course, as it sounds, is the slowest. The T the T the T1 transmits at a one one point five four megabits per second, which is really well. It's it's not really fast, but it's not really slow. It's actually pretty good. Not really, but yeah, it's pretty good um, for most connections because most people don't actually do a lot when they're with computers. Um, unless you're doing, you have you have servers going in your home, things of that nature. Um, and T1 connections are symmetrical. And what symmetrical mean is, it means that the upload bandwidth is the same as the download bandwidth. It means they're both equal. And that's what symmetrical means. It sounds like it what it means. <laughs> so, so there we go. So we know what T1 connections are. So moving on. So three three T T3 connections. T3 connection is transfer a data up to 45 megabits per second. That is extremely, extremely fast. That is a fast connection, y'all. That is a really fast connection. And in fact, some fiber optic now to like uh, your major businesses and corporations, they all use T3. T3 is really expensive to implement. It's really expensive. It's expensive to connection. But if you need it, it's worth it. Trust me. Because you don't want to be stuck with T1 in a corporation. No, it will never work. It will be a disaster. So, um... And like I said, the connection is really more faster, and it's uh it's a lot more expensive than a, a T1 connection. Or basically, when you're a service provider, you're paying for the faster connection. So you could pay for a T1 connection if you don't need that much fast. A T3 connection would be a lot more expensive, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Trust me. So um, so there we go. So we just went over the basic of internet service and bandwidth and T1 and T3 connections. So um, I thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys next tutorial.